now I'd like to invite His Excellency Bishop Robert Mhivra from Corporal Diocese of Uganda, a very close friend of GCU then, maybe one of the primary reasons why the movement is growing in the continent of Africa and uh, especially in Uganda to share a few words with us. Your Graces, the Archbishops, my brother Joseph, Bishop Joseph, my brother priests, religious sisters, and all of you, my friends in Jesus' youth, I bring you warm greetings from Uganda, the country of martyrs. The last few days, when I was telling people in Fort Porto that I was coming to India, they were asking me, are you sick? Because many people come from Uganda to India when they are very sick, they are coming for surgeries which have become impossible in Uganda, so they are referred to India. But I told them, I'm not sick. I'm coming, I'm going to India for Jesus' youth. And uh, I'd like to, on my own behalf, on behalf of the Uganda Episcopal Conference, to thank Jesus Youth and all the leaders who have been supporting us in about three, four years, so that Jesus Youth now is growing slowly but surely in Uganda. We are now in about seven, eight dioceses. Yesterday, as I was traveling from my home diocese towards the airport, one of the bishops called me, wanting to come to visit me at my house. I told him I'm on the way to Entebbe, to our airport, because I'm going to India for Jesus' youth. And he said, you go and see what Jesus' youth is doing, then you come and tell me. Then I'll also receive Jesus' youth in my diocese. And I told him, yes, I'm going to see, because I'm going for a conference, whereby I'll learn more about Jesus' youth, and then I'll come and share with you. So this is a process how Jesus' youth is growing in Uganda. And today, I'm so much touched by the ordination that we have had here of Father Das and Father Dito. You know, I know my current ordination is in my diocese. I'm 13 years now a bishop, and every year I've had ordinations. But this donation is unique in its own way. I have been touched by the ceremony of the way we pray, coming to church without shoes, coming to the church without shoes. To me, it's very moving. People come to church always with shoes. You have such a reverence for the church where our Lord is present in the Eucharist. It's very moving. I've also been touched by the fact that the new Lord died after their hands have been consecrated. Kiss them. These are holy hands. A great remembrance of what the hands of a priest are after being anointed by holy chrism. This is very, very, very important. I don't want to make it too long, but I don't want to congratulate our truly neurodain priests, Father Das and Father Dito, and I wish you the best in your ministry for Jesus' youth. Know that in Uganda, you're welcome in Fort Porto. Anytime. I'd like to end by asking for your prayers. Next month, there is a youth challenge week in my diocese whereby we're hoping to receive maybe about 3,000 youth to help them come to love the Lord more. So I ask for your prayers for this function that may be a success. At the same time also, we're having a healing of family ministry for all the parish priests in the diocese at the same time. So I'd like to ask for your prayers for these two functions which are taking place concurrently, that they may have a powerful influence 
on the priests who are going to participate so they can continue to spread the healing of the ministry of Jesus in families so that we can have better families as we are celebrating also the year of the Christian family in my diocese for the year 2017. So I'm asking for your prayers, and I believe with your prayers, things will be successful. I wish you the best, and may God bless you. I would like to call upon Reverend Father George Kumlumutl, OP to honor uh, our Bishop Robert with a ponada and uh, gift. Father George is teaching in St. Charles Seminary in Nagpur and one of the professors of Father uh, Ditto. Father George is also a very close and dear friend of Jesus Youth. In the last two days we were having the International Assembly of Jesus Youth where we, have, we had 242 participants from 24 countries coming. And uh, since Bishop Robert uh, uh, talked to us, I would like to just mention that we have our friends from Uganda over here. So if you all can just uh, wave your hands, Ronald, Robert and uh, Speciosa if you are uh, around. We also have Bishop has specially asked uh, our friends from Africa to sing a song uh, for us. So if they are ready, we will have a song from our friends from Africa and then we will continue to the last part of the ceremony over here. Okay, we are doing one song that says, My miracle is in this place. My miracle is in this place. Just as we receive the Eucharist, we know that Jesus is within us. And we have the miracle within us. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 